up y'all it is shameless sham and i am back with another video and today's video is going to be all about how to get into nursing school let's say that you are thinking about nursing or you're contemplating nursing you kind of want to do it but you're not sure or you are completely sold on nursing wherever you are um i want to say that the first step is to ensure that nursing is the profession for you it would suck to be in the middle of nursing school and then realize oh, this is not for me because nursing school is tough it's, it's really hard i probably said say that in like all of my videos but it's really really hard so you just have to be prepared for that and you want to make sure that it's for you also i would recommend researching nursing and understanding the different facets of nursing i will say that nursing is a very rewarding profession but it's not always pretty and you have to be prepared for the different facets of nursing um, the next thing that I would recommend is when you start to look at schools, you want to make sure that the school that you're looking at is reputable. And when I say reputable, I mean you want to look at their NCLEX passing rates and you also want to ensure that the school that you're looking at has their accreditation. So basically what the NCLEX is, a lot of you may know, but some of you may not know, um, it's basically an exam that all nurses must take in order to practice as an RN. So um, basically what that tells you is if the school's curriculum is aligned with the NCLEX and whether or not it's preparing students for the NCLEX exam. So you want to take a look at that NCLEX passing rate and then you also want to make sure that the school is accredited. That's so so important. Well the next thing that I would suggest is um, you want to, if you can, if the school has like information sessions for nursing school, you want to make sure that or try to go to at least one or two of those just to kind of get an idea of the nursing school that you're looking at and then also get an idea of what the application requirements are. The next thing that I would recommend is start you want to start to look at the application requirements. So what is that school looking for? Um, I know for my school the requirements were um, they look at your they looked at your high school GPA so um and also your college gpa so we had to give the high school transcripts and we also had to give the um the college transcripts um they look at the courses that you're enrolled in um they look at your personal statement or the essay questions it just depends on what school you go to they look at your resume they look at your recommendations they look at your leadership experience your work experience all of those things to kind of get an idea of who you are as an applicant so um, it's important to look at those application requirements just because you want to get an idea of what they are expecting of you. Then also you want to make sure that you are enrolled in the right classes. The next thing I would suggest is getting involved. Um, something that I did my freshman year was I volunteered in the NICU. That was something that I was very passionate about. So um, that's something that I was able to put on my resume. And then I also volunteered in the emergency department too, like later on down the line. So um, find something that you're passionate about and, you know, try to volunteer and try to find uh, extracurricular activities so that you can put those things on your resume and, and market the fact that you are a well-rounded student. The next thing that I would recommend, my friend just called me. So, um, yeah. So anyways... The next thing that I would recommend is start to think about people that you can connect with or think about people that you've already connected with and think about whether or not they would make a strong recommendation for you. Um, that's very important. The next thing that I would recommend is finding a support group. Um, we have the luxury of having like a pre-nursing major so sometimes you're in the same classes with people that are also interested in nursing and if you have people that are positive and you know support you getting in and want to really really get in that's really helpful to the process so find a support group um also i would say aim for a high gpa now i'm not saying that you have to have a 4.0 to get into nursing school um, because everyone that is in nursing school does not have a 4.0 but the stronger your GPA, the stronger your application. And they don't just look at GPA, um, they look at other parts of your application. So, 
but the stronger your GPA the stronger your application so yeah so like let's start to talk about the application specifics so um, as I was saying before, the usual requirements for nursing school include your GPA. Some schools look at your high school GPA, so you're going to need your transcripts. Second, they look at um, your personal statement or your essay questions, depending on what school you're applying to. They look at your transcript. They look at your recommendations. Um, they look at your extracurricular activities and your volunteer experience, your work experience. And I think that's it. So they look at those things to get an idea of who you are as an applicant. Now, I would say you want to try to start your application early. And when I say you want to start your application early, um, you want to try to start your personal statement and your resume early. Just so you can get people to look at it and make sure that there are no ears on it and just so you can get feedback on it. So um, I know one of the things that I had issues with was writing my personal statement. I had, I knew why I wanted to be a nurse, but for some reason I just could not put it down on paper. So what I did was I think I started in October slash November and I would just free write. I would just sit down and I would just type. I would just write ideas of why I wanted to do nursing. Um, sometimes schools have like specific questions that you have to weave into your personal statement like that was how mine was um, so I just thought of ways to answer those questions and um, when I didn't know what else to write I would literally type I don't know what else to write and it just gave me the opportunity to get my ideas down and on paper um, and then I think by like December I was complete I, I had finished my personal statement and January and February, I literally just use that time to get people to look at it and give me feedback. Um, and for the resume specifically, what I did was I went to the Career Center and at first I was like, I don't know if they'll be able to really help me with my resume just because I'm applying to a school and not necessarily a job, but they helped me so much with my resume. So um, if you start early, it'll it'll be easier and you'll have time to really really like polish your application so um, and also I would recommend asking for your recommendations early you don't want to ask for your recommendations two weeks before your application is due because one you're putting stress on you and two you're putting stress on your recommender and they may they may even say no you know depending on when it's due so um, the earlier you ask the better so what I did was I think in October, I started to ask my the people that I was thinking about asking for a recommendation. I started to ask them, "Hey, would you be willing to write me a recommendation? I'm not asking for it now, but you know, just asking, would you be willing to write me a strong recommendation?" And I asked them, like, you know, can you write me a strong recommendation? And if they said no, um, I, I didn't have anyone tell me no that they couldn't write me a recommendation. But you want to make sure that th that you ask them if they can write you a strong recommendation because it's a difference in between writing your recommendation and writing your strong recommendation so what I did was I just asked them in October and then I think in like late November I kind of sent them the like official letter via email asking them to write my recommendation and all the requirements and all the deadlines and all those things so yeah um but if you ask them early it, it really helps them and it really helps you too so um I would also recommend using your personal statement as a stage to to broadcast yourself in ways outside of everything that they can already see in your application so i wouldn't recommend putting in your personal statement hey i'm a smart student that's why i want to go into nursing school hopefully none of you guys would do that but um you just want to use your resume i mean not your resume you want to use your personal statement as your stage to talk about other things because they can see that you have good grades they can see that um you're well rounded through your resume they can see that um you are committed via by your volunteer experience but they don't really get an idea of your personality through your transcript and all those things they just see how good of a student you are but in your personal statement that's a way for them to see who you are as a person and give them an, a feel of okay you know she's a good student or he's a good student but 
what else you know what else is good about them so you really use your personal statement as a way to talk about other things and talk about your personality and really give them an idea of who you are as a student put your personality into it um, and then also if you have any gaps in your application so for me I had to retake anatomy so that is something that I talked about in my personal statement and I basically what I did was I just talked about you know how I didn't how I wasn't successful in anatomy the first time but what did, what did I learn from that experience like and how did I overcome that um, so I would say that if you are applying to nursing school good luck um, and if you have any questions of course drop them below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in